Well, if you have yourself 5,000 Kenyan shillings resting in a bank, probably you are not doing anything with that amount of money. Let's say maybe you have the capability of pulling that amount of money, say per day, per month, per week, anyway. So the point is this, you at least have 5,000 Kenyan shillings resting in a bank. You have no idea what exactly you should do. And we consider that money idle. Well, maybe it's the first time you heard me talking about idle money. I've been making videos talking about, hey, you shouldn't have what we call the idle money. Why? Because the inflation is eating your money away. By the way, I was checking about the CBK reports about like last month in Emesha Alert is the September. The inflation in Kenya was around 6.8. Can you imagine losing that money at that rate? You know what? That's a lot of money. But now the question is this. The idle money shouldn't be in your bank. You should be actually channeling that money towards an investment. Now today we are talking about 5,000. And guess what? I'm going to take you at least three areas whereby you can be able to do so or are three categories of this money. A, if either you have that money maybe flowing in, let's say, per week or maybe per month, or maybe it's the only savings that you have, all right? And you would love to get something that you can get started on. Or maybe the third one, maybe let's say this is a money that, hey, guess what? It's the only money that you have, tunasemanga in Kiswahili, mbele na nyuma, it's the only money that you have and you want to do something to at least earn you something. So now, let's converse it, let's have a discussion, let's talk about investment because just like an iron sharpens another iron, so do we learn from each other. Now, you have yourself a 5,000, let it write it down, let's, let's us, let us write it down, all right? 5,000 Kenyan shilling. They say if you think it, you know what, you ink it. Now, this is the amount of money you have in your account and now you're wondering, now, Joseph, Fine, let's start with one A, point A. This is the money that I actually manage to pull each and every month. And let's say this is the money that you actually manage to pull each and every month, right? And you ask yourself, fine, I'm only able to save this amount of money at the end of the month. And this money is actually resting in my bank account without me doing anything. Now, what exactly can I do with this amount of money instead of it resting in a bank? Nowadays, it's not a must that you save money. Nowadays, we don't save. What do we do? We invest. And by the way, it actually been made very easier for people who are willing to invest because there are some areas where you can actually quote-unquote save your money, but you're investing at the same time. What exactly do I mean? Come on. I know I have talked about this in a million times. How about I talked about in a million and one time? Okay, I talk about different areas where you can put this money. How about you get yourself into the stock shares? How about you get yourself into the circles? How about you get yourself to the MMF? Yeah, I know that thing I've actually been talking about like a million times. Let's say maybe you're not looking forward into starting a conventional business. This amount of money, you can put it out there. It is earning you an interest at the end of the day, all right, cumulatively. And compounding at the end of the year, you get your cash back. Not only 5,000, but 5,000 with some babies on top. All right? So that is an area where you're supposed to check and eat, okay? That is if you have this capacity of actually getting this amount of money each and every month. Say you are employed or you're self-employed and you're able to pull this amount of money at the end of the month. Maybe you are able to do so at the end of the day. See, people are blessed differently. So if you can manage to pull this amount of money in a single day, well and good, that would be amazing. If you can do so in a week, then again, you can be able to pick this amount of money and be able to invest it somewhere. Where? Did I talk about MMF, money market fund? Hey, if you're confused and you're like, okay, fine, what is MMF? I've never heard of that MMF, by the way. You can check my older videos. I've actually dedicated like a whole video, 20 minutes video, explaining to you what is a money market fund, examples of the companies where you can do the money market fund. And by the way, some of these companies you can actually do so at a, a lowest amount of money of only 100 Kenyan shillings. So see, now nowadays saying that you do not have money to invest, come on, we should box you. I mean, seriously, 100 Kenyan shillings? You can do so, all right? Now, the other thing is this. Now, say this is the amount of money that you have in your savings. You do not have any other amount of money. It's the only money that you can access right now. If I tell you, hey, go to your bank, bring your money. Or maybe go to your m or whatever the place that you kept your money. Or maybe under the mattress. Now, go bring your 5Gs. Now, what can exactly can you do this money? Now, the first question I will ask you, if this is the only savings that you have, the very first question I'll ask you, a question is, is this the only money that you're looking forward, like, it's this the Mbele Nanyuma money that you have and you're looking forward to making something at the end of the day? You see, if the money that you're using it is the money that you're looking upon to actually making you something so that at least you get a bread at the evening or a cooking flour at the evening. If that's the question, A, is it the only money, all right, only money, and are you looking forward to making, you know, money today? money today. Therefore, you see, me telling you invest in money market fund and what have you, it doesn't make any sense. You get what I'm saying, guys? See? So you can be approached by two different types of people. Someone can approach you with 5,000 and tell you, hey, Joseph, you know what? I only have this 5,000, all right? This is the only capital that I have. 
And guess what? It's the only money that I have. And this money is what that I'm looking forward into doing something with it so that I can get at the end of the day in Swahili to Nasemanga unga na skuma wiki at least my kid children can eat or even maybe say i'm single you know at least i can get something at the end of the day that's a person a person b can approach you hey guess what joseph well i do have 5000 somewhere well it's not really like the money that i'm looking forward into eating today but if you can tell me where i can invest my money then that would be amazing because i can channel that cash and be able to earn something at the end of the day no exactly what can i do all right now let's treat person a person a is the one who only has this money and you are looking forward into getting something at the end of the day so that at least they can feed themselves and guess what i always tell people hey you do not have to complicate things guess what some of the solutions to our uh, questions are usually around us or what you need to do first of all ask yourself where are you from simple where are you from where are you from simple where are you from when i say where are you from i don't want to tell me i'm in kitali i'm in meru no i don't mean in terms of location i mean well basically i mean like location but again in, in reference to are you located in up country? Are you located in midtown? Are you located in centers and what have you? Because why? The reason as why I'm asking this question is quite vital because I want you to look around. Because I can't, let's say you are in Kitale, for example, then you have this amount of money. I can't tell you travel to Nairobi and start a business. Um, yeah, I mean, seriously, this money can only be going, can actually go to the transport fare and cost and what have you. Now, look around where you are from. All right. See, some of the answers I always say, they are actually surrounding us. You see, I used to have friends and I still do have them actually, although I do not have friends, what I have are strategic people. Now, I used to have them that they're telling me, hey, you can only make it if you move to Nairobi. You stay, get out of the place that you are and you have to be Nairobi. No, I always tell them, hey, guess what? Money is the mentality. It's only where you are. You see, if where I am, there are no wealthy people, then it's a place that I never have to be. But if they are there, then I can make money when I'm there. It's about mentality. Now, the question is this. Now, look around and ask yourself, fine, where I come from, what can I be able to do with 5,000, you know, be able to do something at the end of the day? Hey, can I go out there and open like a bandazi kibanda, whereby I'll be waking up very early in the morning. I get myself a karai, whereby I can do the mandazi. I get myself the cooking fuel. I'm not really cooking fuel, but cooking oil, all right? Maybe, let's say like three or four liters. And then after that, I get myself like a wheat flour. You know, I get some baking and get what the yeast and what have you, all those the ingredients that are needed. And then I get myself, because, hey, I used to have a certain lady whom I used to buy the mandazis from her. And she used to wake up very early in the morning, say around 5 a.m. And then she could just make some, uh, she used to have a kamtungia gas, you know, and she used to boil some mandazis. Is it boil or you know, frying mandazis and what have you. And people used to grab there. You see, children going to school early in the morning, some surrounding area, you know, people instead of waking up and going to buy uh, the cold mandazis and mikata and what have you, they prefer showing up to that lady and then grabbing some few mandazis and then go back to the house, drinking with tea and get the breakfast. And the lady, she was making some money. By the time it's around 8 a.m., that's the time she was closing the business with her like 400 or 500, sometimes 600, sometimes even a thousand bob, depends with the day. Hey, remember, this is business right? It's not a fixed income. So at the end of the day, guess what you've just done? Hey, you have actually made something out of this amount of money. Because if you were to decide not to invest this money and eat it continuously, say you need like 500 days per day, 500 Kenyan shillings per day, you only need 10 days to exhaust the money. But what, once you invest that money, now you'll be eating the baby money that is being, being given birth from this, the parent money. That's exactly how you do it, all right? Don't complicate the things. Look around. Can you be able to grab some vegetables from the farmers, like the Mbonga za Can you be able to grab some tomatoes, some uh, viazes, and what have you? Get yourself a nice place whereby, you know, you can actually sell all these things. And I'm pretty sure if you're driven by motivation, if you actually go ahead and do something that we call, you know, solving the problem. First of all, you see, when you or if you want to get money from people you have to actually solve problems for you to get money back for example i'm a financial consultant and i usually say hey if you would like my services if you would like to have a conversation with me you can always grab my number from the description of this specific video my number is pinned there so if you get it you'd like me to solve you some of the challenges that you're facing say maybe you have some cash with you you do not know what business you can start you can always give me a call we have a conversation now i charge you for that guess what i'm solving your problem you see, I cannot just show up and tell you, hey, I want to charge you, see, for what reason? See, if I solve your problem, all right, then from that point, you don't even feel any pain. You just say, hey, guess what? My problem is solved. Now that's the money. So the same case applies when it comes to business. You look around and say, hey, guess what? 
this baja mawamikate wa asubui wana late kidogo so if you can offer an alternative where the neighbors can actually grab something that they can eat in the breakfast you have actually solved the problem and when solving that problem you get a, a reward on top of it it's as simple as that now the problem with kenyans is this that hey this is that one individual doing exactly that and they're making money then you have like five people flooding in that area without actually engaging any creativity that's what kills most of the small businesses right that's all the point the point is before they flood in just make your g's up your game move to the next level and actually be a competitor to the next level that is exactly how you did now we have treated an example of an individual who has this 5000 and they're looking forward into getting something at the end of the day now how about this individual who has this money you know and he's not looking forward into you know he don't know when next you get this amount of money and he don't want this money to rest idle in his account bank or whatever the place or that guy has actually kept this amount of money so what exactly do you do now what you're supposed to do and ask yourself is this name this money i can actually pick a thing all right and it, it, first of all here now depends with the age if you are young fine you can look forward into putting this money into you can actually buy yourself shares by the way this amount of money is enough to buy you a couple of shares you know a couple of shares you know i don't want to name them the names of the companies but obviously what you do you look what we call the price per share price per share you know price per share per given company and then from there you multiply that by 100 why 100 because the shares are nairobi stock exchange says that anyone who is willing to buy shares must buy at least 100 of them when starting up therefore definitely means say you get like one selling at 20 bob all right you can get yourself at 2000 you know you have yourself like shares if you get the one that is selling at 4 440 you get yourself you know a uh, 4000 so you still be able to sell this amount. and by the way i'm telling you you have more than 10 or 20 businesses or companies that you can actually buy share their all their stocks with this amount of money so what's the point the point is this nowadays we don't keep money idle in our bank what we do is that we take this money, we invest it. For example, if you pick a money market fund, say, say, say one thing, hey, we are not interested in investment. You don't like those things about shares. You don't like those things about money market fund and what have you. You would love to accumulate a certain amount of money, then get yourself into a conversion of businesses. Yani, biashara za kikawaida, okay? Now, the point is this. You see, if you put this money in a bank just resting idle, obviously, you're shooting your foot. Now, you go ahead and pick, like, for example, money market fund. You put your money there. Your money is actually accumulating each and every day. It's compounded for a whole year. So, at the end of the year, say you get another 5,000, you pump in. You get another 2,000, you pump in. You get 100 shillings, you pump in. You get what? You know, keep on feeding this beast, keep on feeding this beast, keep on feeding this beast. By the time you know we are ending the whole year, guess what you'll have? You'll have accumulation of a lot of money. And what else do you usually have on top of that so that people tend to ignore it? You'll have the discipline. You've already actually calculated the discipline of savings. And you cannot save if you do not know how to what to manage. See the sweet of this? Now, when you actually save, you get two things. Number one, you get capital. Number two, you actually get what we call the discipline about the savings. That is exactly how you develop yourself. That is how you transform yourself. Now, the point is this. If you do have yourself 5,000 in your bank, sit back, relax, take your time, take this money, put it somewhere. Inflation is eating your money. I won't lie to you. That's the reality. Inflation in Kenya is around 6.8. That's quite high. You know, they say quite a, a reasonable inflation plays around 2.6 to 4.2 around there. Well, I usually wonder even why should we even have an inflation in the first place? But anyway, it is what it is. Right now, it's quite high. Put your money somewhere where it's my, actually making you some cheese. Anyway, guess what, guys? For now, that marks the end of my video. But guess what? It's not the end of me posting a video each and every day. So if you don't want to miss such good vibe or such good information, do this. It doesn't cost you anything, right? Down below here on your right, there is a small button written subscribe. Guess which color is it? It is in black. Hit that magical button, turn that notification bell, and as well, like this video. And by only doing that, guess what? A whole YouTube will notify you whenever I upload a new good video. For now, it's a good vibe. But don't forget, hey, Grab that number of mine if you want to get what we call the personal guidance decisions. All right? See ya.